Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 15, also known as the Futuristic Halls. Hope you enjoy the video. This level's crazy, and there's a ton of stuff that doesn't make much sense, so I do want to know your theories on this crazy level. Leave a comment below. At the end of the video, tell me what you think happened here. Also, help the channel get to 500k by subscribing so I can buy these fire Backrooms pants. All right. Now, let's get into the video. Backrooms level 15 is classified as a class zero level and is safe, secure, and has no entities. Now you might think, how is the level crazy if there's nothing there? Well, you'll see in a second, trust me. The level is made up of a bunch of futuristic style hallways with shiny reflective surfaces. There are also some sections of the level that are completely dark with no lights and you can't even see in them at all, but those are pretty rare. Throughout the hallways, you can faintly hear the sound of engines roaring in the distance. Now these machines or engines are inside of rooms that are sealed shut with big doors. These doors can be opened up though, if you want to explore around them. There's a bunch of different machines in this level and they range in size from being as small as a computer or being the size of an entire room it just depends on which one you're looking at and these machines actually can manufacture real objects like some produce steel rods but there are some of them that seemingly make nothing but still move it's weird now people originally thought that the hallways were infinite but it's now known that there's just so many hallways and it seems like it's infinite but it's not actually it's around six thousand kilometers squared to be exact all of the rooms and the halls are made out of white concrete floors with reflective steel walls and roofs and steel beams holding it all up on the ceiling and some of the walls there are these really bright lights that reflect off of all the surfaces that make it really eerie and futuristic looking and the only thing that breaks up this really monotonous color scheme is an occasional body just laying there on the ground yeah, that's uh, pretty terrifying. These bodies are people, and they're all dressed in lab coats. And on top of this, there's also makeshift weaponry found near them almost every time. And some of the bodies have signs of gunfire wounds, and it's unknown what happened here or why they're there, but they've been there for a long time. Now earlier I was talking about the engine rooms that can produce stuff, but those aren't the only types of rooms here. In fact, there's labs, cafeterias, bedrooms, kitchens, and even control rooms scattered around the level. Most of the rooms have no furniture or anything on the ground, but some of them look like entire wars happen there. Just a huge war scene. In some of those rooms, there's also computers, and on this level, there's always a Wi-Fi signal that you can connect to. That'll come into play later. But yeah, some of the rooms have computers. But the weird thing is the files on these computers are in an unknown language, which honestly is pretty terrifying. I mean, you have all these corpses and weapons, and now you got these computers with weird languages. I, I don't know, man. I guess a good thing is that there's been no entity seen here alive, except there is one room with corpses of hounds stacked up on top of each other the entire height of the ceiling. What even is this level, bro? Like, what? Now, the way this level was discovered was by a wanderer who came here from level 10 and ended up in a big control room. That wanderer's name is Onrik, and we're about to get into his story now. Now, this big control room had access to the rest of the level, so, you know what, Onrik just set up a camp in that big room and decided to explore. But after two days of exploring, the door that he came to the level in shut by itself and literally won't open. And it hasn't opened for two entire years so this guy has been stuck in this entire level for two whole years now the good news is that the computers in the rooms do have internet access and Meg has been able to send books you know correspondence games and you know stuff like that to keep him sane while he's stuck here he's documented his entire stay on the level and to this day he's still alive and is trying to explore more of the level and crack the code of the unknown language on the computer files and as for bases on this level the only base here is onrik's base but there has been remnants of other camps that onrik has found but they look like they were abandoned a long time ago there's also some computer scanning graphs that onrik has taken and some readings that he's gotten and the data is actually on the wiki dot if you want to go read it 
but I'll show you the picture of some of the scans because I'm not going to go through it. It's 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 a lot. My question is, why is this level like a battle zone? You know, where's the bodies of the scientists? Why are they there? And why are hounds stacked up in a room? And why are there bullets everywhere? I don't know. Lots of questions here, but there's no one else that's ever been here that has any correspondence with Meg except Onrik. So let me know down below. Also, the only entrance to this level was found by Onrik himself. And so far, he's the only person to ever enter here and be alive. So we still don't know how those scientists got there. We still don't know how the hounds got there. We don't know anything. But the way he entered was by this big wall on level 10 turned the same material and color as the shiny white walls here. So when he noticed that, a door appeared in that white wall on level 10. So he just walked through it and he came to here, level 15. And after a few days, the door shut and trapped him here. It's creepy. So yeah, that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. This summer is going to be awesome, y'all. I'm so excited. Make sure to tune in to next video for my explanation of level 16. And in fact, I will see you all in that next video. Peace.